is the same as your rotation, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. I, no, I try not to ask trick questions. Sometimes I ask really simple questions, and you guys will try and make them really hard and complex. Right? Let me start over here and then. So, uh, the questions on the quiz is, will they be the ones that are on the exam? Or will they be the ones uh, or will the exams also be like the homework okay, so the exams are going to be 10 questions similar to the ones on the quizzes and three questions similar to the ones in the homework. Okay? So the exam, and, and, that, the, and that's going to be half and half. Okay. And Great question. overachievers, can we just go ahead and do all the quizzes? <laughs> if you want, yeah. Okay. Thank I don't care. Okay, the same question from the grade. Oh, wait, I just go back here first. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Um, are the questions based off information in the sixth edition or seventh edition? Because I'm taking the quizzes and I'll click on something that I'm reading straight out of the book and it'll tell me it's wrong. Like I'll the answer it'll come right out of my book. They're based it's based on the sixth edition. Like I'm not understanding. Like which one? Like, well, I've like I've worked ahead, uh -huh. and so it was on. I don't know. I didn't notice though. On one of my quizzes, you went back and gave me the point that I missed. So yeah. So one of them on retrograde motion. I don't know if that I was had, that one. Yeah, I had done incorrectly on Canvas when I set it up, and I went back and I changed it to the right answer. If you had selected the wrong answer before, you still got credit. If you selected the right answer, you now got credit. Okay, I don't know right. that. So when you find something where you feel like this is my first, what you guys are seeing is my first draft of these quizzes, right? So if you find one where you feel like, hey, this directly contradicts the book, send me a note because maybe when I was setting it up, I clicked wrong, okay? And so send me a note and I'll, sell, I'll tell you, send you feedback to say yay or nay, you know, okay? So you said the exams are 10 questions from the quizzes, so <coughs> right? 10 questions, sorry, 10 questions similar to the quizzes. No, I know. Well, that's Three questions similar, question. yes. Okay. Yep. Other questions? questions. <laughs> Anything else? Right. And, and does everybody have a calculator they can bring in to the exam? I can't let you use your phone. Do we need a scientific calculator? Yeah, that's a good one. The big issue is does it do exponents or not? If it does exponents, you're good. We don't have to worry about sines and cosines. And yeah, yeah. You can do those in your head. Um, I, okay, so in terms of schedule, I just put off when the next homework is due, and I just put off when the next quiz was due, um, because I wanted to I need a little bit more time in going through some things with you guys, so I just slid the schedule a little bit. My problem is, the way I want to do the exams for all three sections is I want them to be all during the lab period. And so instead of moving the exam a week, I'm going to have to move it two weeks. I'm really going to have to rethink what's on that exam because of uh, Labor Day, right? Mm -hmm. Labor Day, section three, the online section will not be meeting lab. So I'm probably going to do cancel lab for you guys when we come back from Labor Day, right? Um, for that Tuesday. <laughs> Um, I see your heart broken, I know. <laughs> but uh, we're getting closer and closer to the point where there might be stars when we have when we have lab, right? There might be stars out, and that would be cool. But watch, watch Canvas for updates, because I'm going to be, when I have a chance this weekend to catch my breath, I'm going to be going through and looking at the schedule again. Okay, any other questions? No. Yep. So when you think about that, um, it's probably the something like Tuesday. The let's see, when is Labor Day? Okay, Monday. Labor Day is the seventh. 
So it's probably Tuesday the um, 15th. Probably. All right. <laughs> Question. You said this name, but I didn't know what you said. Okay, Newton, there was a woman that was pregnant. Yeah. How do you spell her name? I'm going to leave the Chatelet. I'll get you. You want her full name? It's a big name. I'll email it. Okay. I will email you her full name. Are you going to remember? Send me a note. Send me an email. I'm bad with emails. I can't leave you a note. <laughs> I'm real bad with emails. I'm just being honest. Okay. Uh, I'll just write. Yeah. Just give me your name. Okay. Make sure I have your name, and that's the big thing. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. And I will. Email. I will email you. Okay, please do. A little blurb on her. Okay, thank you. I'm going to go with the And uh, Mr. Gerald. Dr. Gerald. Dr. Gerald. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to come by your office to give you that uh, excuse, so I can just get that paper from you then. Okay. From Jay Mac, Justin MacArthur at home. Justin MacArthur. Jay Mac, why are you late? Well, my, I had given me something to eat before I went to class. I, I, I got something to eat before I went to class. You did? Yeah, okay. you just don't wake up on time. I like class. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I like class. You got me. Yeah, get me the light. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go sign your thing on your arm. Go do that. I know what y'all offer that. It's what you say, Kim? Not. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, yeah. thing is fast, dude. You alright? Yeah. Hey, you working at Country Club next time? Probably. Alright, I'm gonna see you there. Alright. I gotta get restarted by. Alright. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we still can go and find a thing in your office. Yeah. Yeah.